hello guys so welcome back to the channel so the last video i did um i had some comments people telling me to make this video uh in english all right because definitely not all of us can speak uh the Akan language all right so yeah why not okay so uh basically the last time we talked about the two types of skills that you need all right uh, we talked about the soft skill being the skill that you need to impact your work all right and we talked about hard skill the skill that you actually need to get some job done all right today we're going to talk about the two worlds that we live in and some skills that are applicable all right we are gradually getting to your more job all right so please make sure that you take every lesson serious all right so if you've not seen that video make sure that you go to uh, the playlist which you see the episode one you uh, watch the video all right so now let's talk about today's topic we are actually in two forms of world right now the digital world and the physical world actually we are in three forms of world all right like we have three forms of world spiritual world physical and the digital world all right for the purpose of this discussion we talk only about the digital world and the fiscal world so we'll talk about the fiscal world it's basically the world that we see around all right like um i mean what we see friends houses buildings cars sky i mean everything that we can see we can feel we can touch we um have those kind of interactions in the fiscal world all right and what are some of the jobs applicable in the fiscal world we talk about engineers we talk about doctors we talk about uh, scientists we talk about painters we call, we talk about building contractors we talk about um architects we talk you know all these type of skills are applicable <clears throat> in the fiscal world all right and now we, let's talk about the digital world all right or the digital space digital space basically is the world that we interact with virtually all right like what we are doing now we are talking but i'm not in your home all right you are watching me on your phone you are watching me on your tablet or on your laptop okay so this kind of interaction that we are having is digital is virtual all right so with when it comes to the digital world you don't actually uh feel or touch what you interact with all right you actually only see and probably listen and build some kind of um a deeper connection through the virtual interaction that uh, we have all right so data skills are, are applicable for the data world we are talking about data engineers we are talking about data scientists we are talking about front end back end developers we are talking about uh, cyber security expert we are talking about graphic designers i mean all these kind of skills are applicable in the data skills all right or the sorry the data world all right but guess what now the physical and the digital world comes kind of work together are basically becoming so much intertwined all right the digital world is actually augmenting the physical world so you see a doctor using laptop and tablet to interact using applications you see a nurse you see an engineer or build a contractor using um coral draw or using how do you call it? there are some special software that they use to create uh, the virtual kind of the home or the houses that you want to build we have engineers we have doctor i mean like basically anyone in the fiscal world or with the digital world sorry fiscal world skill now kind of interact also with the digital world all right and in some cases now the digital uh, professions or the digital skills are replacing the physical skills all right so before then you could see people only drawing and artists only using their hands to draw and all that now we have laptops you can't even find people now you have laptops you have tablets you have some special uh, parts that um, graphic designers can or the artists all right can use some stylus to draw without resorting to paper so what does it mean those who used to produce those kind of paper uh, materials and all that they are going to have their profits go down all right so what i'm trying to say is now the digital world is not totally going to replace the fiscal world sometimes it will replace the jobs already and now with ai i mean so many fiscal jobs or fiscal jobs and even some digital jobs are going to be i mean be hard pressed okay so yeah what am i trying to say it means you need a digital skills because the digital world is now ever expanding all right expanding greatly all right look at how many people are using computers how many people are 
working online which means uh, the cyber threat is going to increase so if you are doing cyber security course you have a higher chance of uh, landing a job remotely all right look at how social media is growing so if you are a social media manager or you have a social media skills um, it means you have a higher chance of uh, landing a job all right if you're a copywriter if you are a data analyst look at how companies are now using data to uh, make a data driven make data data driven decision or data informed decisions all right so now it means if you're a data analyst you, you you have a pretty much a good chance of landing a remote job all right if you're a data scientist looking at ai and machine learning and this all algorithm breakthroughs you have a better chance of landing a job all right so so many people have these kind of skills but the thing is they don't know how to market their skills they don't know how to be out there they don't know how to um show the proof of their skills for potential uh, employers to employ them or potential recruiters to find them and recruit them all right i have a, a friend who called me a couple of days ago uh, asking me uh, i mean he called me some months ago uh, for for coaching all right he wanted to learn how to um he is a data analyst all right he had some skill in that also an it guy an it guy and uh, he wanted to um land a remote job all right so he called me i gave him some tips how to leverage linkedin on and just a couple of days ago he called me that he has been approached by a recruiter uh, and being scheduled for an interview all right so it depends on how you market yourself how to leverage social media or professional social media like linkedin and all that because linkedin has been a great great help uh, to me all right it's been a i mean like it's been a game changer game changer for me all right so um using how uh, leveraging on social media and all that tools all right all that social media tools to let yourself or make yourself known to uh, recruiters all right because guess what the recruiters are looking for you all right they are just probably not finding you at the right time all right so yeah as I said, uh, fiscal and the data skills, you can have skill in these two. If you don't have these two skills, skills that is applicable in the fiscal and the data skill, it means, my friend, like, hey, you'll be in hot water. I mean, you would be so much irrelevant. And you know, it, even in the fiscal world, you need to upgrade. That's why someone would have a degree in engineering, they'll go and do their masters, they will have, uh, someone will do nebosh. I mean, it's so, you have to upgrade to stay relevant in the current job market, or you have to be current to attract current opportunities, all right? The same with the data space. Data space, you also need to beef yourself up. You need to um, acquire needed skills, relevant skills, sought after skills, all right? To be relevant and to, to make yourself known and that is not all you need to understand how to use the necessary tools to make yourself known in the data space just like you you, you in the fiscal world you, you pick up your cv and walk around sharing your cv you'll be spreading your cv with the data space to you you need to even with the data space pretty much easy right you need to find a way to make yourself known because you don't have to pick a car to submit your cv just sitting uh, behind your computer you can share your cv to people all across the globe all right i'll show you how to have a master cv how to create a master resume and all that all right so yeah today we talked about the fiscal and the dicta uh, skills so if you want to learn about spiritual here yeah, just contact your cleric or contact your pastor all right like yeah so i mean sometimes you can talk about that but today we talked about the fiscal and the dicta world and the type of skills that you need to stay relevant in this two sphere that we interact with every single day all right so guys thanks for watching and please stay tuned the next video we get deeper 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 into the remote on dicta space and gradually you begin to find your purpose and begin to find your goal i'm talking about some of the courses that you'll be you have to learn and how to get those courses right and please don't forget to just go to my bio and just uh, dm me for those who dm me the last time i want to say that i'm sorry because i switched phone and i lost all the messages that we've previously had so i don't have a backup actually my backup is not up it's not current it's not up to date so please if you message me before and you see this video make sure that you message me and let's get talking all right so please also make sure that you fill the form join my master class join my free master class you can also book a free consultation with me all right to show you some of this if you want to fast track you can book a free consultation with me i'm going to show you some of the courses that you need to do how to acquire those courses um dicta courses or dicta skills and i'm going to coach you um even through till you're able to find your first remote job right so guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you next video bye